So one of the bigger requested things for me to do was a guide on the flea market. And for a lot of us older players, it seems pretty intuitive as to what you do on the flea market, right? Uh, there's a lot of stuff we do that is just people watching. And you're like, oh my God, I didn't know that's why that happened or what you could do. So I want to go through and show you that. And this is on a, a new account I did. I just got level 10. So we just hit level 10 with uh, a task we did. And so we have the flea market open now. So we can go into the flea market. So you got a couple of things I want to go over here real quick in the flea market screen itself. So in the flea market screen itself, you have your things over here, right? You have browse, which is kind of like your search bar. You have wish list. Uh, you can right click on items. So let's say we want to make vogs on our wish list, right? You can click on this add to wish list. And then you don't have to search. Everything you add will be right here ready for you to look at. I use that all the time in my flea market guide videos. Uh, it's how I go through stuff quickly on the, the items I need to buy. Now, my, so here's my wish list that I have. Uh, you can copy it as you want. This is good for crafting. It's kind of all the items you need. And what I can do is I can just click through here pretty quick. Now, right now, they changed it. I don't know if this is intended or bug, but you can't filter out barter items. But you can just click through here and catch the bottom prices of everything, right? So you go to intelligence and secure flash drives, moonshine. And when you see something that's really low price that you're going to use in crafting, you can snatch it up really quickly. And I just, if I'm doing it, I just flip through these things for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, buy up all the components I need for the day and uh, go from there. So like everything's pretty expensive right now, which is fine. I'm probably not going to find anything cheap. Um, but it doesn't mean you can't look. Like with OFZ shells and uh, intelligence, for example, I'll flip back and forth between these and refresh um, and check because these things show up on fence a lot. And if you can get them on fence, you make a ton of money with them. You use the folder of intelligence in your scav case and the OFZ shells to make RGD5s or M995, and you will make a bunch of money doing that. Now, my offers, this is just going to show you what you have offered, and that's where your 0 to 3 is. So when you start off, um, at you have three offers you can do at 0 0.20. And this flea market fee rating, sorry, this flea market rating, which is here at 0 0.20, will go up and down based on how you do things in the flea market. So as you sell stuff, basically every 50,000, I think, gives you a tenth of a point. Um, it's either that or a hundredth of a point. I have to go back and look at the wiki specifically, but the, as you sell more and more stuff, your, your rating will increase. And as it increases, you get more items. Um, and it's, I, I believe it's 10, 30, 50, 70, a uh, hundred, 150, and you get one more each time. I'm at 120 or 130 on my main account and I have, uh, eight slots. Uh, as soon as I hit 150, I'll have nine. So when you're in here, one thing you got to be careful about when you're selling stuff is that when you it just goes to one of the doesn't necessarily click it just picks an item as soon as you click add offer so we're good we want to sell these razors so we're going to go list these razors we're going to go look now razors sell for prices all over the place now i can go look at the flea market uh, tarkov market and do it but since i only have three slots my priority is to sell stuff quick so i do i call this fire sale so i want to sell something fast like these are all 49 i'll list it for forty five thousand. it's only costing me four thousand um, but it's going to sell right away. And then I can get everything sold and get back into raid. And I'm not sitting here for 10 years trying to, uh, sell stuff unless that's what you want to do. So we're going to sell these razors, 45,000. Next up, we're going to sell this FP 100. Now these things are worth a ton. So you have to be very careful about your flea market fees, especially when you only have a little bit of money. I only have 223,000 right now. So like, let's say if I listed this thing for 500,000, it eats 74,000 to list that. So it's another reason you want to sell stuff quick because you want to get your money back. You don't want to just put everything in flea market fee. And if it doesn't sell or you cancel it, it will actually lower your flea market rating. So we're going to go ahead and list this at 380. It isn't quite a fire sale, but I'm pretty confident it'll sell quick. Um, these things turn over pretty quickly. Um, the Cordura is another one we will sell. Uh, these are selling fantastically at 80,000. So we will list this for 85. Um, probably should sell again, 13,000. There's our flea market fee. Um, our razor sold already. So we'll let those sit. Um, chocolates are going to sell insanely quick. Um, we don't need them for anything. So we're going to sell these guys at 45,000 and boom. All right. Now when stuff sells, it comes to you in Ragman. So Ragman is where everything gets delivered at. So you can click on each one of these and then click the dollars if you want, or you can just click receive all and everything that sells, boom, shows up right there and you got it all. 
So the chocolate sold, something else sold. So we're going to keep going through here and we're going to sell some stuff and generate some money because we've been struggling. Now, 10 rounder Hunter mags sell for okay price. We'll sell these for 10,000. Uh, generally, you want to target your higher value items first. Like we have a PKO6 here. This thing's going to sell for a small fortune and it'll sell pretty quick. We'll sell it for 50, uh, 58 and it'll sell pretty quick. One other thing you can do is you can buy stuff on the flea market, obviously, to some of us, but a lot of things like the hideout and tasks don't require found in raid status. Some does. So you can buy the stuff you need off of the flea market. And when it's wait, late, when it is late wipe like it is right now, that is actually a huge advantage for people because uh, st stuff's really cheap. So like, for example, this 114 key, right? This Dorms Room 114 key probably sold for anywhere from 150 to 200,000 early wipe. Now you can come in and buy it at 12,000. So you're able to buy all the keys you need. You don't need to worry about keeping them. One thing you do need to be cautious of is when you're buying stuff though, especially high trafficked items like sugar or fuel or certain weapon parts, food, any quest item, people will try to scam you. So you see this here, this is a barter trade. What somebody's trying to do is if you hover over this, you can see what it is. Um, if you have it ID'd, I don't hear. Let's go look at this guy. Nope, don't have that guy. Let's see here. So soap, three soaps and one chocolate. So this guy, soaps are running about, let's say 15K. So there's 45K and then this, here's this. This isn't a scam. So this thing right here is running pretty close to uh, market price. So you could buy this if you had those three pieces. Um, if you had all three of these, these four things, you know, well, the one chocolate and the three soaps, you could buy that sugar, but some of these other ones are definitely going to be scams. So like there's, it takes two chocolates to make a sugar here. This one's three is the same one. This is three. Yeah. So, and the value here is based off of what they sell for. So this is a filter. This water filter is worth 150,000. So this is people just trying to scam because if you click and accept and fly through this, you're going to give them a water filter that's worth 150,000 for a sugar that's only worth like 80,000 or whatever these things are selling for right now. What are they selling for, 80, 90? The other thing is a sugar has a really high flea market fee. So this is something you need to be very cautious of when you're selling sugar. Now, when I sell this sugar, I'm gonna sell it for 85,000 just so it sells fast, but the flea market fee is gonna be huge. See, 30,000, look at that. That is insane flea market fee. So you have to be very careful when you're selling stuff to check your flea market fees. It, there's only specific items that do this. Um, and it's part of the equation that they use based on what the trader pays for them, what the average price is, and some other things that go on. So stuff like sugar in this have just absolutely enormous flea market fees. Um, one thing you want to also do is, I don't know if you saw that, right? That was 30000 for that flea market fee. If I list this sugar that's 46 of 70, for 85,000 as well, just like the last one. Look at that, the flea market fee is even 10,000 higher. That's because it takes into account how much you have of a used item. If you have an item that can be used, um, that is taken into the value of the item. So this is 46 of 70, um, which is, uh, let's see, 46 of 70 is 65%. So we'll times that by 85. So we'll sell it for 55.8, 55.9 is what we'll sell this for. And this is gonna sell instantly because you can sell these for much more. But you see how much lower the flea market fee is? Uh, and you don't pay it much. And basically, this money just vanishes. It disappears from the economy. So I'm going to sell it for this. That's going to make somebody very happy because they can use that to craft. Uh, some of the other things out there that have uh, crazy flea market fees you got to watch for. So you got D fuels here. Do not. Um, you know, they sell pretty good. We got 50,000, a little bit less than 10%. That's not too bad. Uh, and then um, I believe... I should have some croutons in here somewhere. I want to show you those because those are something that's really important to show. Here we go. So look at what croutons are. So right now these guys are listing them for 40K, right? If I list these croutons for 40K, you're going to flip. Look at that. You're making 8,000 rubles. That's it. You're charging somebody 40,000 to make eight. Whereas if you sell these for, let's say, 15,000, you make 9,000. You actually make more money selling them for less. So that's something you need to look out for for stuff and make sure that fee isn't killing you because you can't actually pay more for an item than you can list it for, which is a super bad. So we will, we're will we hanging on to these because we want to use them for a task later. Uh, we can sell the green gunpowder here. This should sell for a bunch. And again, here's another one that gets, you got tons of scammy stuff in here, right? So six bolts, that's uh, 120K. Anguish, Tio, thanks for the follow, dude. 
So 120k for uh, 80k gunpowder? No, that's just highway robbery. So we'll list that. We'll put it in there. Um, but this just shows you how much you can make off of the flea market selling loot. It's insane. So if you haven't been using the flea market before, we're kind of laggy here. Let's go game. We've more than tripled our stash selling stuff. And it's actually going to get to a point where we're going to run out of room for money, uh, which I guess is a good problem to have. But the uh, other thing you can do is if you if you want dollars for some reason, you don't want to buy them, when you add stuff, you can actually come through here and switch the currency. So you can sell these for USD and go, you know, $500 for these. And it still charges you uh, a fleet fee based in rubles. So what if you want to sell stuff in dollars, the best thing to do is um, figure out what dollars are worth, right? So you do that by coming to Peacekeeper. You click on his deal and you put in, you know, $10,000. And you can see, oops, we'll put 1000 in. So it's 119.76 uh, rubles per dollar. So if you want to get close to, and we're going to do this so we can get some dollars out of it. I'll sell these paracords for that. Um, we want to sell these paracords at 58K. So 58,000, 58,000 divided by 119, 119.76, 119.76 uh, gives us $484. So I was actually pretty close with that guess. Um, so we'll list these for 480, and this will put us right in there at, um, oh wait, wrong one. Did that, make sure you don't do that. $480, 10,000, and this will put us right in here with these guys. So when this lists, it does the math for you. So it puts our $480 uh, paracords right in here for somebody to buy, which is pretty good. So I might have screwed up on the pricing on that. That might have, we should have probably sold closer to seven or fifty thousand, but I think we'll get by. So when you're searching items, a couple of little quick tips for searching stuff. Um, like let's say you want to find uh, propitols, right? and you're, you're lazy and you don't want to type them in. Well, what you can do is you can come in and search a morphine, which is another injector. You can click on the injector and then close that filter right there. And then you, you've got all your injectors here. You can look through so you can go buy a propital right there if you want to. I'll ID that real quick, actually. Um, you can also filter out barter items by clicking on that right there. And boom, now you don't have to worry about getting scammed by people, but you won't see the traders. You can set it to where you only see traders or players, so it'll get rid of any traders. Uh, or any non-player thing. So the only thing you see here is, you know, Fence is selling a Propital for 21000 And then he, these are the ones from Therapist that we don't have unlocked yet. Uh, other things you can do up here, um, you know, you can set your quantities for the filters. So if you want to, you want, you're looking to buy like, if you're looking to buy ammo, right? And you don't want to see like one stack or five stacks of ammo. You only want to see 60 stacks. You can type in 60 and, um, or set it to a max level. You can do uh, conditions. This is for like armor and guns, but primarily armor. So if you want to, you don't, you don't want to pay brand new prices, but you want a good armor. You can type in 90 here and then we'll go look at, uh, we'll look at gear, armor vests. It'll show vests over uh, that are over 90 and that's it. Let's go look at uh, packas. So anything over 90, that's all that'll show up, which is brand new ones. But if you close that, then you'll see a bunch of others in here that are fenced, that are 28 and um, all of that. Uh, you can also click only show functional items, which when you're looking at weapons, uh, let me close the packet here. So when you go to firearms, what it'll do is it'll only show you a gun that's functional. Uh, let's look at the eight R's. So all these eight R's actually function. If you get rid of the operational only, you'll end up with these red ones, which is basically gun parts. And that's just uh, different guns that people uh, have taken parts off of and they're not functional. They need something to function. You can filter it in currency, so you're only looking for rubles or U.S. dollars or euros, if that's how you want to search for it. And then you can do this only show items expiring in less than an hour. I've never used that. There's not a benefit to it that I've seen, um, but it's there for if you are inclined to look at it that way. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention um, is you can only sell stuff on the flea market that is found in raid. So it has this little checkbox next to it right here. If it's not found in raid, like this car med kit, you can't sell it. So when you're selling ammo, there's one thing you can do that makes it really easy. Is you check the select auto select similar. So when you stack on one, when I click on one stack of BT, everything that's in your inventory, not if it's in a case, but even if like this BT is up here where you can't see it, um, and I click here, boom, it's got all 150 rounds. Uh, so 
that's helpful for selling ammo. We'll sell this VT at 280, generate some money there. Uh, and that works for all ammo, so you can select it. Now, just be careful when you're moving ammo around because if you stack non-found and raid ammo and found and raid ammo, it gets rid of the found and raid status and you are up a paddle, up a creek without a paddle, up a specific kind of creek. Okay, guys, so over on my main account, I wanted to show you a couple of things also real quick uh, for this flea market guide. Um, something to do with when you're selling big ticket items, specifically lucky scab junk boxes where there isn't a bunch of them on. Like you might think, oh my gosh, there's two pages of, of lucky scab junk boxes. That's not really that many, especially because some of these are listed at absurd prices and are just never going to sell. So if you look here, you've got what? We've got um, two dozen between 812 and 837,000 or 840,000, we'll say. Something to keep an eye out here is you see all these expires, right? So you could list this right now for 814 and be fine. But if you catch these at weird times of the day, like first thing in the morning or really late at night or in the middle of the day, a lot of these things are going to time out at the same time. So like all of these here, all of these from 814 to 820 are going to time out pretty close to the same time. Now that doesn't... Uh, matter so much with how close these are probably going to sell just where everything they're close enough to the bottom of the list they're probably going to sell but if you show up and you're going to list something and you see a bunch of red squares here because they've only got five hours left or something like that list above that price because once that timeout hits it doesn't matter if they're sold or not they all disappear off the market and the price resets from 812 813 all the way up to like 830 so with big ticket items like lucky scab junk boxes cases um some of the firearms out there keep an eye out on for that when you're selling stuff and you'll get a little bit more money out of your flea market and like we were talking before uh here is uh the higher flea market fee that allows me to list eight uh eight items right now because of this once i get 150 it'll go to nine um another thing that you can do is we're, since the market isn't quite there right now um let me get to where we have uh we're looking at something specific. So let's say I have a bunch of green gunpowders to sell, right? And I want to sell them and not use them, but I still want to use green gunpowder to make red gunpowder. So what I do to maximize it is if you list, I don't think I have any to list right now, unfortunately. Let's list a blue. Let's do it with blue because I can list this. So if I want to sell a blue, right? And let's say we want to sell it for 27000 right? And I use blues to make red gunpowders, amongst other things. So we list for 27000 So that means 1321 flea market fee. So this is the same for me. Using this is the same as buying a blue gunpowder for, uh, what's that come out to be? 27 or uh, 25-7, essentially, 20, 24 uh, 79 uh, to get that blue gunpowder. Uh, it, it's the same as buying a 2479 blue gunpowder as selling it for uh, 27. I'm sorry, 2549. So if we go in and see all of these gunpowders below 2549, I can sell all of my blues for 27,000 and then buy everything underneath that 2540. And there's a lot here, so I wouldn't necessarily do it. But what you can you can affect the market a huge deal. You can buy because you're going to use all of these eventually, and make money with them. So you buy all of the blue mark the blue underneath that, and then sell your big stack above that. I do that with pile of meds because I use those to make things um, like propitols and stuff. Uh, I use it with the gunpowders, reds and greens. Um, I don't do it with blues so much because they're not that worth that much. Uh, but the reds and greens, I do that with for sure. I will, if I'm selling those, I will list them for a price that's higher and then buy everything underneath it. And that way your sell, you inflate the price a little bit and then you have components at a cheaper price to, do, to uh, make craft with. And there's a whole list of items you can do that with uh, as far as like... Um, I'll do it with the, not so much the Vogs, but the Fuses. Uh, I'll, um, the prices are a little wonky now, but back when, you know, Fuses were going for like 15 to 16K, I would keep all the Fuses I found in Raid and I wouldn't craft with them. I'd list them for like 18.5 and then I would just buy all my Fuses for under 15 and push that price up. And not only are you making a little bit more money, uh, you're increasing your flea market rating as well, which helps you sell more items, which just snowballs. The more you can sell, the more money you make. It, it just works better that way because the longer you can leave something listed on the market, the more money you're going to make off of it. Some other uh, interesting tricks with the flea market specifically itself um, is using 
uh, items that are for less rubles, a low enough cost in rubles that you can sell them to Peacekeeper for dollars. So another trick, and it works with a bunch of different items, SSDs, uh, mostly the info items, SSDs, thumb drives. Uh, there's many out there. You can do the math and check because it kind of changes, but SSDs are pretty reliable. If you want dollars, instead of going and buying US dollars uh, from Peacekeeper straight away. So let's look here real quick. Uh, 100 US dollars, um, thousand. So uh, you're looking at 119.76 US dollars or rubles for a US dollar, right? 119.76 rubles for US dollars. If you sell him a uh, SSD drive, right? SSD drive for $536, that's the equivalent of 64,000 rubles if you had just done the trade, right? I, I, if you're following here with the math. So 64,000, this is worth 64,000 rubles. So if you need dollars, go to the flea market, buy your SSDs for under 64,000, and you're doing better than if you're buying the dollars. So this is a great way to get dollars for anything that you need, whether you're buying uh, your late game and you're buying a lot of components and ammo for dollars, or if you need it for one of the hideouts or tasks, do it this way because these things always hover between 60 and 54,000. So you're always gonna do better than this. Well, that wraps up the video. I hope you guys liked it. If so, make sure you hit that like button. It helps out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe so you see when new content shows up. I stream on Twitch most weeknights, so come by and say hi there if you want to. And we have a Discord full of chilled, laid-back people who love to help out and answer questions, as well as brag about some of our awesome loot. So the link for that's down in the description too, so you can join there if you want to. Lastly, as always, thank you guys for watching the video. Your support is amazing and helps out in more ways than you guys can imagine. So with that, we'll wrap it up, and we'll see you in Tarkov.